Hello everyone and welcome back to another week. Um, yesterday we were doing uh, various little jobs and uh, today is my first day of filming this week. A uh, bit of silage cut around the place. Uh, we're actually doing a bit of bailing today but uh, I'll be still preceding most of it so I don't think I'll be involved in it in any shape. I see there's two fields cut just over here from us as well and uh, here is a field that was reseeded maybe uh, wouldn't even be a month ago I would say no it wouldn't be no maybe three weeks that way so and we're doing another one here now um, with the shovel laid for the reseeding it's getting very very late and we're just lucky that we're getting a couple of dry days we got about an hour sunshine there a while ago and it really really dried out the soil a small bit but it needed every bit of drying to be fair um, uh, just trying to work side this time of the year isn't isn't ideal uh, at times. Look, in three weeks time we can get plenty of weather, but uh, September really uh, goes past September, is shoving into dodgy territory for setting grass seed. So um, kind of needs to be done this month, really, if at all. So um, yeah, we have another another job or two of reseeding to do, and uh, look, hopefully. If uh, the sunshine plays ball, we might be able to go at one of them later on, but um, we'll have to play that one by year. So, um, I have a bag of grass seed in the cab with me, because uh, I used to keep them up in the harrow. Uh, you'd fit a couple of bags up in the back of the harrow, but I was... Um, oh, one time I was reseeding a very stony place, and one of the bags jumped up and got crushed by the packer roller in the back of the harrow. So. Ever since then, uh, if I have any spare bags, I either leave them in the corner of the field or else throw them in there. But this grass seed was dropped off at home, so that came in the cab uh, with me. Um, so I suppose, look, I must do my bottom headland here now uh, to finish off this section of the field and um, we'll give a look in the hopper and see how much seed is left after that. Okay, so we're just discarrowing some ground now. Uh, that was already ploughed and it's been rolled, but uh, we were hoping we get some nicer, drier weather, just make it a bit easier to work it. So uh, we're just tilling it up again in the hope that tomorrow is supposed to be good and uh, it'll be able to be land level and we'll be able to see that uh, we didn't plough this job. The farmer ploughed it himself and basically we're just disking it and Oh, after that, I don't know, I'll have to speak to the farmer, see how much more he wants us to do. But um, quite a hilly field and quite cold ground. Um, we're really on the foothills of a mountain here, as you can see. And uh, uh, look, uh, up here it gets very, very cold in the winter. It's very exposed. You'd have, you'd have snow up here when there wouldn't be snow anywhere else around. So it is quite open to the elements up here and uh, uh, it just look uh, winter comes in early and spring is late kind of really getting going and this kind of ground so um, yeah it's kind of last chance really for it but uh, hopefully we'll get there we're, um, we're making good enough of a progress it's quite a big field i think there's maybe 13 or 14 acres in it uh, but it like you know there's a hill going more or less every way in it so it's quite deceiving how actually hilly the field is um, or sorry what what size the field is with how hilly it is uh, there's quite a pinch up over here uh, as you can see the TBT is managing to go up it but um, with her with her four fairly poor tires so that'll tell you the traction in them but um, it isn't the easiest ground in the world to uh, climb up even in uh, summertime or you know when they were trying to get silage out of here it can be quite difficult as well but that's just the nature of working on kind of hilly ground in, in this part of the country it just it's wide open to the elements so i'll just get going i just have that centerpiece really to this goes and once we've that done I, i'll head from home we're very close to home here anyway so once we've that done uh, yeah we'll head on up the road and we'll get home so this morning we're disking um, just some grass stubbles that were burned off and there was a good good coat of dung spreading them and it was also uh, ripped with a, a big subsoiler on a, a bulldozer so uh, luckily enough it's dry enough for me to get a bit of traction on it because sometimes 
when there is a good cause of young on uh, this kind of ground it's very very hard to get grip but uh, uh, we're managing uh, no bother thankfully I just have this little bit left to do in the centre and a small bit above me here so it's after getting kind of two runs you could say what I do is I half overlap myself uh, that shops are ridging a bit as well so uh, that's usually the way I work it what we will do then is Thankfully we're getting the sun is out and it's beating down to the ground every pass you make now You can see it drying out a bit so I will let it dry out and maybe come back uh, This evening or maybe in the morning give another run or two and it should be lovely It should be like this here because uh, obviously I'm traveling this more uh, So that's nice and tilled up and uh, then maybe give it a, a rub of a leveler and uh, we should be good to set it in, so I'd imagine this will definitely be one of the last jobs to be done. Uh, I can't see any more coming in after this for uh, reseeding because we have nothing else burnt off or anything like that, so I can't imagine there will be uh, much more to do. Um, so yeah, I'll wrap this one up. I've maybe half an hour's left that way and uh, we'll get out of here and we might go sit in that place we were disking last night. Right, so we're doing a bit of disking again. Uh, you would have seen this yesterday, we disked it, and to be fair, it's coming up pretty nice now, and um, reasonably smooth, so. Uh, once we left here yesterday, we went and, um, oh, we went and sat that job that we were disking the other night, so uh, it's another one, thankfully, ticked off the list, and uh, I would say, this is my last bit of disking for this year. Um, I've this to set today and I have more setting to do after that, which is a kind of a herbal mix that's going in. Uh, it's, 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 it's a long winded story, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll show you that going on too. Um, so, right, what we're going to do in here next, or the farmer is going to do, is once I just have to do this corner up here again, um, he's going to roll it and to be fair, a roller is one of the most underused tools for, I won't say tillage work, but I will say doing grass seeding work because uh, it just, like, if this is rolled now, it'll give the power harrow, it'll do a lovely job of it. And, um, you know, a, a lot of people, kind of rollers, I suppose, are old or small rollers and, and your tractor sinks more than your roller and it just doesn't leave a nice job especially like when you go to an awful lot of effort of doing a very very good job and leaving a good finish on it then when you roll it with with a small roller on a big tractor it just um, it leaves all these waves across the field and um, ah look a big roller is kind of a must really for this job and we have it thankfully we have a decent roller and uh, a lot of customers take it and use it when we're doing this kind of work because they're around themselves to roll in as a straight power job and it's also a time consuming job so it suits us and it suits them to um, to be able to do the rolling so yeah I think a roller is the most underused tool at this kind of work and uh, when you have a real big one there the results are just uh, serious altogether so um, yeah i'll finish this off the farmer will go rolling and uh, i'll go home and i'll get ready to go sitting we also have a bit of bailing to do today but i don't think i'll get time to go anywhere near that um i'll be at the cultivation all day today as well so we'll um once i get going at the sitting we'll chat to you then might be the last close of the hopper for 2021 um I don't know. It won't be. I have somewhere to go after this, but uh, I think today will be our last day at it. So one of our pipes is after popping out here of its holder, and I'll just step back in, and we should be good to go. Well, it's been an absolutely fantastic year for reseeding, to be fair. Um, some amount of it done this year. Half of the amount of it, you know, but, and a lot of big jobs too. You normally every year you'd be doing paddocks and stuff like that but a lot of people seem to have received the silage ground this year which look when the milk price is good 
dairy boys has been this and the beef price was good this year too which to be fair like you know not saying anything against beef farmers but I suppose they're suffering with bad prices so often when they get a good price they're kind of trying to pocket it and um, then oh there will be a rainy day coming fairly soon so they don't uh, not too many beef farmers go receiving big amounts of ground so but uh, even this year there has been a, a good few but I think today is our last fine day I'm not quite sure um, and look at really I mean well and truly it should be the last of the work wrapped up we're near the end of September now and uh, and always some silage to do the weekend if if it's still dry um, we'll be doing some silage and tomorrow we'll probably be going at slurry which uh, that's a real downer isn't it I don't think anybody looks forward to going spreading slurry okay so this is something a bit different and it's our first time setting it this is a, a herbal lee a multi-species grassland mix which has an all merciful amount of different uh, different types of seed in it now while we're not setting this in an agricultural environment so to speak um, you know it's not going to be intensively farmed where we're setting it I would really really love to see this stuff growing in a dairy farm environment um, there's a, just a crazy mix of clovers and different type of grass and I don't know if the camera focusing right. The camera isn't focusing great. Uh, anyway, just a, an awful lot of um, different grasses, different. Uh, there's timothy in there, there's coxfoot, chicory, plantain, and three or four different types of clover as well. Smell off it, it's just, there's a lovely, sweet, sweet smell off it. So. I'll, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what way it grows, but like I say, it's not going to be intensively farmed where we're setting it, so it's going to be hard to tell, but I would love to see it growing uh, in a dairy farm environment, but um, people tell me that uh, dairy farmers are getting fantastic results from it, and uh, cows are doing very, very well off of it, so maybe in the future it might be the way to go, because obviously it's uh, so much clover in it, it's nitrogen fixing and uh, but the biggest problem with it I think is you can't spray it so um, maybe that might be a bit of a bother so yeah I just said it'd be worth showing you it's a lovely lovely mix you can see all the, the clovers and all the other various things in it 